eight golden buzzers, a deadly prank, Simon Cowell's onset disaster, a wardrobe malfunction, and trouble in paradise without David Williams. Brace yourself for Britain's Got Talent's most wild, explosive season yet. BGT 2023, that's what's hot. Hey guys, it's Corey, and there's tons of tea, so let's get right into it. Britain's Got Talent is back. With the show's premiere so soon on April 15th, we're really getting excited to see what's in store. To begin, we have to talk about the elephant in the room. David Williams is no longer on the Britain's Got Talent judging panel. If you missed it, David was asked to leave the show following some disrespectful comments that he made that have surfaced online. Now, the final spot in the BGT panel belongs to former Strictly Come dancing judge, Bruno Tonioli. If you're from America, you probably know him as one of the current Dancing with the Stars judges. Although it was reported that other panelists were happy to meet Bruno, things quickly went south. After filming, it was leaked that Bruno was causing some tension on the show. Any fan of Got Talent knows that there's no moment better than the golden buzzer. Somehow, Bruno managed to mess it up. Reportedly, the new judge hit his golden buzzer mid-act and then hit it again, twice. According to a source, the moment was madness since there was no glitter in the onstage confetti cannons. Apparently, a producer then ran over to Bruno to tell him that he couldn't hit the buzzer again, and it got the executives and Simon Cowell talking. I'm sure you're not surprised Simon Cowell was apparently seen like this during that moment. If I had to guess, the eight golden buzzers of this season came about from this. I mean, you can't just hit the golden buzzer and then take it away. Right? You can't take it away? Soon after news broke about Bruno breaking this rule, it was revealed that he's never actually seen the show before. Apparently, he considered the opportunity as the most unpredictable and incredible thing that's happened in a long time, yet I don't really think he knew what he was getting himself into. Regardless, I think it's safe to say that Bruno will keep this season interesting. I mean, if you've seen him on Strictly or Dancing with the Stars, you know that he's quite the energetic judge. He's always standing up, cheering, and he's always screaming. No matter if he followed the rules or broke all of them, I'm really looking forward to this energy, even if it means I'll miss David even more. Although the in-studio audience seemed to love Bruno, both Alicia Dixon and Amanda Holden opened up about how much they missed David during the filming. Amanda also admitted that Bruno definitely broke every rule in the show. It was also reported that Alicia and Amanda were unhappy that Bruno is getting the same pay as they are as a newcomer. For anyone who's wondering, they make an estimated 850,000 pounds or a million US dollars. We're not sure if this is per show or per season, but it's probably per season. Guys, I'm not gonna lie here, there have been so many questionable things that have come out about this season. Like apparently Simon Cowell played a prank on Bruno and even almost died on two separate occasions. If you're an avid fan of America's Got Talent, you probably remember when Simon pranked Sofia Vergara into thinking she killed him. If you don't remember it, here's a refresh for you. <gasps> Sophia. Listen, we need a medic. Sophia, I gotcha. <laughs> Reportedly, Simon has recycled the prank for Bruno, and it's been leaked that the prank took place during a routine that involved shooting balloons. While Bruno was blindfolded, Simon had a fake arrow attached to his chest, and you know, to make it more believable. A paramedic rushed to Simon, because it's realistic, right? The Sun posted photos and videos that show this all happening, so check these out. But here's the thing, Simon Cowell didn't just pretend to die on the stage. Simon Cowell almost actually died on the stage. It said that a masked magician who didn't speak put a hood over Simon's head and then doused it with lighter fluid. But then the magician locked Simon's head in the box and lit his head on fire. According to the source, the audience screamed and the judges were out of their seats screaming. Once the fire was put out, Simon seemed shell-shocked but then let out a sigh of relief. Simon shared that he could feel the liquid being poured on him, but he didn't know what it was. Fellow judges were apparently just as shocked as he was. Alicia Dixon was ready to save Simon, and Amanda thought that this act was entertaining yet horrific, and Bruno compared it to the movie Saw. You wanna play a little game? Finally, let's talk about this wardrobe malfunction. It's no secret that women judges are always dressed to impress. I'm talking extremely fashionable, usually tight dresses. Anyone who's worn a dress like this knows that wardrobe malfunctions are bound to happen, especially if it doesn't hold your curves just right. Unfortunately, Amanda Holden had one of those moments in the middle of filming BGT. 
while wearing a pink long sleeve bodycon dress, her microphone pack gave out and slid all the way down her back, all the way to her butt. Luckily, she moved quickly, grabbed the back of her dress before the mic pack or anything else was revealed. After it happened, she said, say no to crack. Literally, my mic pack has gone right down to my bum. You'll be hearing all kinds of interesting noises. I doubt we'll see this moment in the series, but it was pretty funny nonetheless. There is clearly a ton to look forward to on this season of Britain's Got Talent, and I know you guys can't wait for it. Although there hasn't been much else leaked about the season, the Mail recently interviewed the judges in a tell-all format. It's officially been revealed by Simon Cowell himself that the rule book has been thrown out of the window completely. Specifically, when it comes to the golden buzzer. This is wild. Historically, each judge and the host got one golden buzzer to give on BGT. Unlike AGT, the group's golden buzzer, where they hit it all together, has yet to make an appearance. I think all BGT fans were hoping to see the addition of this honor, but honestly, who can complain about eight golden buzzers instead of just one more? While discussing Bruno hitting the golden buzzer twice, Simon Cowell said, I leapt at the opportunity and thought, I'm gonna make it even more chaotic now, and pressed mine again. Then the audience were all screaming for a particular amazing act, so I thought, who cares, let's press it again. And we ended up with eight golden buzzers. So fans should expect to see Bruno and Simon hit their golden buzzers twice, while Amanda, Alicia, and Ant and Deck get to hit it once. But unless they split up Ant and Deck, that's, that's only seven. Wait, guys, I think it's happening. Are we finally gonna see the group golden buzzer on BGT? What do you guys think? Will there be a group golden buzzer? Are you excited for this chaotic season? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're still on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Follow Talent Recap on all social media platforms and make sure to check out our website, talentrecap.com. If you're interested in more BGT, feel free to continue watching our videos or check out our second channel, Freaking Famous, where we talk about everything fame and even more. If you guys want to follow me, I'm at Corey Caesar on Instagram and at kind of Corey on TikTok. And now you know what's hot. Cheerio. <laughs>